testimony of if God is for you, who can be against you? Welcome, 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 welcome to another episode of 3D Boxing Podcast. It is good to be back. Um, I don't know how many of y'all watched that Golden Boy card um, on the zone, the fight night in Indio, in Indio, California, Fancy Springs. That card was good, man. We're going to get into it. Um, if you haven't watched it, I'd say turn this off, go back, watch it. Uh, but before we get into all that, please like, share, and subscribe. Please like, share, and subscribe. Please follow me on all forms of social media, 3D Boxing, 3D Boxing Blog. Please subscribe to the other channel as well, Texas Boxing Scene on YouTube. It is April, National Autism Awareness Month. Uh, please um, share the channel, like the channel. Um, sorry about that. Um, it's not so all proceeds from Texas boxing scene go to autism research and recovery. So please like, and share that channel. Um, subscribe to the channel. Please like it and share it on all forms. Okay. Let's get into this fight. Um, again, I don't know how many of y'all watch this. I, I, I was tweeting about it during the fight. Um, I know it was on against the NBA playoffs. We had some good NBA playoff games today, but this was a really good card. Um, in the main event, you had, uh, no mercy. Mercito Hesta. um, Score a really, really, really impressive upset victory over uh, Joel Diaz Jr. Um, you know, H- Hesta is a guy that they like to use as an opponent. He gets used as an opponent often. Um, he's much more than an opponent. Um, every time he's in there, even when he was in with um, Linares, right? He made it. He, he made the fight help. Like he gave Lenares hell. Um, I, I don't know if they use this guy thinking he's washed, he's used up, he's been out of the ring two and a half years. I don't know if they just thought he was done. It would be an easy win for Joel Diaz, his first fight with Golden Boy. Um, but it's not the case, right? Like it's 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 he's much more than an opponent. He's way more than that. Um. He scored two knockdowns in, in, in the first round, and and, 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 the, and the pace of the fight was just changed from there. You saw Joel Diaz came back and he fought hard. Joel Diaz made this war. This was like a fight of the year candidate that will get zero votes for fight of the year because no one watched it, but this was that good of a fight. Joel Diaz came back. I thought he won the second and third, and then um, has to won the fourth big. You know, the fight was evening out. It was fifth, sixth. You know, the fight, rounds were close, um, and it, has had a huge round in the seventh, buckled Diaz again in the seventh. Uh, Joel Diaz came roaring back. I thought took the eighth and the ninth. Um, and then you know, it looked like he has to had given up the lead on the scorecard, what looked insurmountable. Um, but Diaz had rallied, right? Like, you know, you get a 10-7 round in the first. It looked like Hesta had it had it won, had it wrapped up. He was landing clean, thudding shots. Not a lot of defense in this game. Not not not, not a lot, not a lot of defense. Um, <laughs> not a lot of defense in this fight. Um, but, uh, you know, and then Hester roared back in the 10th, won the 10th. I thought he needed the 10th, um, to, to make sure he won the fight. The judges ended up having a little wide 96, 92 on two of the cards and 95, 93 on Fernando Villarreal's card. So I guess 95, 93 is the way I had it, right? He had 90, uh, yeah, 85, 84 going into the last round. Yeah, that's how I had it. And then 95, 93, uh, his final score card. And then the other two judges had a, a round wider. Uh, for, for for Hester, but there was a lot of tight rounds in there. Uh, Hester definitely won the fight when he when he won when when he won the tenth. I said if he wins the tenth, he should be safe. But you don't know how Golden Boy's gonna score this. But they, they got it right. The judges got the cards right. Uh, I was really 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 good performance, excellent performance by Hester. Again, he's not gonna win a world title at 135 pounds, right? Like he's not good enough, and the division's way too stacked. But he's gonna give. It, he's gonna be a tough fight for anyone. I kind of like to see him fight Lenars again. I think he's aged better than Lenares, believe it or not. I'd like to see him against any of their opponents. Bring him back. Let Tanahara fight him, right? Um, Jojo Diaz. Um, you know he's not going to win these fights, but he's 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 in the mix. I'm just thinking of Golden Boy guys. He's in the mix with these guys. He's going to make he's going to make the fight difficult 
four of these guys. Isak Cruz, if you want to have him fight a PBC guy. These are interesting fights, and Hesse is in there, and he's gonna he's gonna make a war of it. You know, Joel Diaz is a guy that Golden Boy liked. I'm not exactly sure why they liked him. Um, he's 26 and three now. He's obviously a fun fighter to watch. He's got some pop. Um, he's taken two bad losses. Um, uh, uh, one sided, lopsided loss at a hundred and I think it was at a catch weight when he fought Pro Gray, right? Uh back in twenty seventeen. Um he I mean that was a one sided beat there. And then he lost to a guy uh two fights later named Christian Raphael Corrier. Um and that was uh in, in twenty nineteen and that was on a Ramirez card, wasn't it? That was on a Ramirez and Pettit card. I mean it, it took a terrible beating in that fight. Um he came back, he fought in 2020, um, in December of 2020, he won in Mexico, um, and then he fought again in 2021 in Mexico, got the win, and then this was his bounce back fight, he was supposed to come back, beat Hester, and I, I, I thought this fight would be war, I tweeted that as a go, I said, this is going to be fire, uh, the first round proved that, and it was, this was an excellent fight, like it was an all action fight, there's nothing you wouldn't like about this fight, um, it, like I said, it's one of the best fights of the year, but Diaz was just, uh, yeah, you know, he just it wasn't enough. He's taking too many shots. I mean, there's, there's no movement. You know, he, he he fought back hard and fought back well, landed plenty of shots, had has to hurt a couple of times. But it wasn't enough. Um and again, Hester, you know, they 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 wanted Diaz to win. They wanted to use Diaz in bigger fights. Um, and now they're not gonna get to use him. Also on the undercard of this fight, Joette Gonzalez's uh, little brother. Really impressive performance. And I'm gonna get this name wrong. Jose. Gonzalez, Jose Gonzalez, am I saying that right? Just okay. Um, he destroyed Jairo Lopez, who's a real opponent. You saw Jairo Lopez by Omar Juarez. He fought Luke Campbell. He's, he's a tough, adorable guy. I mean, he's supposed to lose. He he is an opponent, but uh, Jose Gonzalez absolutely destroyed. Really, really good offensive performance. Lots of combination punching. Good pop. Much better pop than his brother Joette. Um, Twenty-six year old lightweight. Um, we may have another player in the lightweight division. He looked that impressive. Um, he fought back uh, in El Paso um, back in June on a Golden Boy card. Um, I, I guess that was a Munguia card um, against uh, Zamarja. Um, but that was really the only other times that I can remember seeing him. He's, I, I guess he's fought on a bunch of Golden Boy cards. I don't remember seeing him. But this is really, really good offensive performance, good power, good combination punching, strong guy, strong puncher, comes forward. Um, again, not a defensive genius in there, um, but the firepower and the combination punch, like his defense is kind of his, 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 his punch output his, and his combination punch. It's never once. It's always two, threes, and fours, right? He always is strong in punches, in bunches. Um, I'm telling you, this guy right now, he may be our prospect of the month. He, he's something to keep an eye on. He is absolutely something to keep an eye on. And Mercito Hesta, I said it before, I'll say it again. Mercito Hesta under, is, is absolutely under never ever anything to play with. He is not, was not, and will never be anything to play with. I, I, I'm looking forward to seeing Hester again. I, I want to see him in a, in, in a big fight. I want to see him fight JoJo Diaz. I want to see him fight Linares again. I want to see him with those guys. I want to see how he does uh, because he's, 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 his fights are fun. They're all out, and he's good. He's a two-fisted you know, puncher. Southpaw comes forward, likes to slug. His, his style just can't miss, and his fighter can't miss. Uh, so it was a really, really good goal. And then Victor Morales, um, the the, uh, the the Golden Boy prospect, the blonde haired kid, really good job as an announcer. Really natural, really good. This was a, a home run. This card. I hope you guys go back and watch it. Um, really, really, really exciting card. But let me know what you guys think. Um, did you watch it? Let me know what you think. Leave your thoughts, comments below. Um, were you impressed with with, with Hester? Uh, were you impressed with um, um, Gonzalez? As much as I was. Uh, leave your thoughts, comments below. Please like, share, and subscribe. Uh, remember, it is April. That is Autism Awareness Month. So please uh, like and subscribe to our other channel as well, Texas Boxing Scene on YouTube. Uh, it is April 21st, uh, 2022. From Texas to the world. Thank you. And God bless. Don't miss a tweet, post, story, or video. 3D Boxing is on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. Hit the subscribe button now to stay inside the ring.